Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Lucas and today we're going to be talking about Bolt.new. Um, I've heard really good things about it, there's a few YouTube videos coming out um, where there's people building some stuff just with prompts, deploying them um, straight from this browser, which is pretty cool. So it's basically kind of like a Claude or ChatGPT um, hybrid with, with a cursor. So um, it's really interesting. We're gonna give it a shot. Um, I've never used it. I mean, I used it just five minutes ago, just to test out some things. I created an account, but other than that, I haven't built anything. So today I just wanna build, I just wanna test it out with you guys. I wanna very raw um, and, and without any cutting or, or editing this video, I just wanna show you guys kind of the, the back end of how this works. Um, so first of all, I just want to build something simple. Let's, um, well, first off, we have some, some things here, like start a blog with Astro, draft a presentation, code a video, um, and so on and so forth. Um, so let's just build a landing page. Um, uh, I want to build a modern dark mode landing page that includes a uh, blog okay let's just write this and see what what we get so this is my beautiful github image um and so i connected github so if you uh register for bolt.new you can register via github or via email you can't do like a google login at least not that i know of um so let's see, it's building, it's creating the initial files. Okay, it's updating some of the files. We can click preview, no, not yet. Let's just wait until it cooks. And then what I'm interested about, I mean, we have these two buttons up here, once you're logged in, right? Open and stack blitz and deploy. So that's what I'm kind of interested about right now. So I just wanna finish this simple prompt see how it looks like okay it used the astro.dev for the blog i guess so we have here inspect menu okay this is interesting okay all right let's see um can we oh, let me move my little camera can we add some content to all the blog posts. Um, it can be about, let's write hurricanes because right now there's a hurricane coming. Um, let's hope everyone's safe. Um, let's just press enter. So certainly, okay, it's gonna add some blog content about hurricanes. So let's wait for that to, to cook, to finish. All right, it's updating some of the files. So it has a hurricane categories folder. Okay. So it looks like in the back end. Okay, you can already see hurricane categories files. We can see the content here, the impact of climate change and hurricanes, blah, blah, blah. Um, different hurricane categories, preparing for hurricane season. All right, so we have different things here. Good. So let's go back to preview. Um, learn more. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. So we have like that about us section, very simple. And then we have read our blog. And then we have this and then cool. So we have um, this part. Uh, all right, we can add more things to this page. Um, like adding like the suggested uh, blog post at the bottom or something like that but I'm just interested in these things for now. So first off, what does this mean? Open and stack blitz. So it opens here. Um, I guess this is like a, like a web-based code editor. And here we have a preview and open preview new tab. So it opens like a, okay. Okay, so you can like open it in a custom domain. All right, so this is basically it. So 
maybe this would be useful for another project but right now i'm just trying to test everything out so let's click on deploy okay deploy this application certainly i'll deploy the application for you using netlify which is one of the our supported deployment providers then use the deploy action to build and deploy it okay so that deploy to know okay let's wait okay so it created like a netlify domain for us so we have our blog post here cool so we have this this little um new custom domain which is awesome if you'd like to claim this project on netlify which allows you to manage it directly on the platform you can use this url i don't have a netlify um uh, account but i can open one right now just to show you guys so let me pause this so basically what I did is I created an account with my GitHub. I created a new repository in GitHub. And um, so it's basically this. So we're going to deploy it to this bolt.new uh, repository. And now it's there. So that's pretty cool. So that was the second step. Please note that you have one week to claim the project using this URL. Okay. so. Cool. That's basically it. We have this, um, we have this um, a custom domain here. Um, we, we can obviously uh, change it. We have um, we can change the domain to our own in Net Netlify. Um, we can um, basically uh, add some new things. So that's what we want to do now. Um, That's what we want to do now. We want to maybe make a new project. So uh, this one is, I don't know what, what happened here, but it doesn't matter. Just wanted to um, test a few things out. So let's close this for now. Let's close this, 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 and let's start a new chat here. So we go here to Bolt and let's do something maybe a little bit more complicated, something with AI, like using my Claude token. So um, what can that be? Um, let's create an AI app. Maybe we can, I'm gonna, maybe, maybe I can just give it an open prompt. Maybe I don't have a specific idea of what to build, but I can give it an open prompt and it can um, maybe with my Claude, um token um build something so maybe we can use my what's it called a cloud uh access token cloud pi key or yeah you can use my cloud cloud api key let's create an a um let's see if it can give me suggest give me suggestions or ideas on what to build. All right, let's see what it, what it gives. Certainly, I'll retrieve the comp. comp mm -hmm. AI powered. Okay, AI powered. Okay, what is it building now? Okay, it's so it doesn't just it just builds on everything. So, like, what I want to say is that it doesn't chat with you. Like, if it has to build something so um, that's interesting so it's going to build this first option ai powered writing assistant so let's focus on the first option ai powered this app will help users improve their writing by providing suggestions corrections and enhancements um okay create a text area for users to write or paste their content add buttons implement um, for different writing suggestions okay so here are the buttons implement api calls to cloud for each picture display the results Okay, so I gotta do this. Here's what I've done now. If I, uh, okay, so I have to do that here. So handle submit function. And where can I find that? Maybe I can just give the the uh, API key. To the chat i don't know if that's such a good idea but 
how I think I'm gonna do it. So um, let me first find this. Maybe there's a good way to search this file, these files. Okay, cost some of it because. Okay. Okay, so we have to do it here. So let me find my API key. So basically I gave it my API key and it said that it's not a good idea to do that in the chat, which I agree with, um, but I just, you know, testing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, it told me to here replace uh, this with my key. So I'm gonna do that in this file. So I'm here. Um, and then after that for production use, you should set up a backend server to handle API calls and store your, okay. Expose your API in the front end, which is not secure for. Okay, so basically, um, I I shouldn't um, show you guys this link, because, or maybe I'm just gonna delete the the link, um, but, yeah. Anyways, just let's just test this out and see. So I'm gonna pause and and put my API key and then show you guys the result. So now it's deploying, and this is such a great tool to learn how to code as well. Um, because you can see everything in the back end, how, how it's running and he's, and the, the chat is going step by step of uh, what it's doing. So let's see that, um, the, the project is ready. So I'm going to open it. So, um, I did get an error when writing something. So this is just a dummy text and there's an error show problem and then it says fix problem so let's try that out let's copy this text So running the entire kernel, okay. Uh, so basically I do have an error still, but I just wanna show you how the front end looks like. I still have to fix this. I'm not gonna do it for this video because um, I wanna move on to the next video, but this is just, yeah, getting our toes wet um, with this new tool. Um, so yeah, if you all want to see more content um, related to this tool, bold.new and how to deploy web apps with AI, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to make a new video on that. Um, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, just uh, testing out this new, this new product and yeah, hope you guys have a great day.